Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tabitha. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. I know it's been a while and I have missed you guys. Let me know how you've been doing it down in the comments. So, I know I've been gone for a while and I do have some new subscribers that I'm sure subscribe for my Optavia content. I have been MIA for a while. I have not been, op been doing Optavia for about two months now. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I came out with a video where I had a confession about binge eating. I sought after a few things to improve. I thought maybe it was Optavia the diet itself because I have not had this issue. This has not been a long-term issue for me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link up here and you can take a look at it, but I'll kind of go over it a little bit in this video as well. I was doing Optavia. Optavia is very restrictive. It is very restrictive. And if you say that it is not, then you're not being honest. And it is what it is. You go into it knowing it's restrictive. And it works. Obviously it works. I lost 25 to 30 pounds, depending on what week it was. I lost all the way up to 30 pounds and I kept fluctuating between <laughs> the last five pounds about a month, month and a half, because I could not get off this terrible cycle I got into. So I decided to take a break, tried something a little bit different that had been working really good for my friend called Shibboleth. And I believe it is a good program too, but I feel like over the last probably year or so that my relationship with food had become very, very bad. It just had. And I think the Optavia probably just accelerated a little bit. Just to go back a little bit, about four or five years ago, I lost 60 pounds over the span of probably like, I don't know, five or six months. It wasn't that long. When I look back on it, probably about a year ago, I scrolled all the way back through my Fitbit where I had kept track of it to see what was the average weight loss I had lost. And it was two pounds a week. Is that not what they tell you is healthy weight loss? And I'm thinking back to that time. I don't remember struggling with my appetite. I don't remember struggling with food. I don't remember struggling with binge eating. I just ate and exercised and I lost two pounds, about two pounds a week. I felt so much better. I looked so much better. And at the time, to begin with, I was pretty restrictive. I just said, you know what? I'm cutting out anything that's processed. If I pick up a box and I don't know what the heck that word is, I'm not eating it. Like, so processed food, processed sugar. It was pretty much to me what I would consider like a whole food diet. I started my garden that year, my very first garden that year, and I've had one every summer since except this summer. And I'm really glad I didn't because it poured rain and it would have ruined all my food. I just ate fresh food as much as possible, but I wasn't religious about it. Like I said, to begin with, I was pretty restrictive, but as I saw that I was maintaining weight loss. If I wanted to eat something here and there, I did, and I didn't have any problems with going overboard with it. Fast forward, I had my third sinus surgery in 2017, uh, summer 2017. By then, I was running 30 minutes a day, or thir like 30 minutes at a time without stopping, which still blows my mind. But I had that sinus surgery, couldn't run for about three weeks. Well, I deconditioned very fast because I have asthma. I never got back to where I could run 30 minutes at a time. I was being put on steroids quite frequently ever since then. I partially blame that, but I have looked into binge eating and it is a disorder. Is it a, it is a eating disorder and it's more common than bulimia, anorexia. It's very common. You know who it's very common in? It is very common in people who have had restrictive dieting patterns. Yep, I say all that to say. At first, when I first started the program and it was working really well for me, I might would eat off plan like once every two weeks and I had no problem just picking back up where I left off. But once I hit a certain point, it was this awful vicious cycle. Well, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a break from Optavia. Let me try the Shibboleth and I would do okay for the first three days because it's new. And then I'd fall back into, if I ate like one thing that was not allowed in my mind, I would spend the rest of the day just eating, just mindlessly eating. Like, and I would eat, pro I, I've never counted the calories. I could tell you I at least ate like 3000 calories or more easily. Just, just like, well, 
I done screwed up now, let me just overdo it, like really, really overdo it and gain three pounds overnight and four pounds overnight, just in pure water weight because I'm just way over the top. I mean, couldn't stop myself. And I'd be so full and almost sick and I would just keep eating. It didn't matter, keep eating. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Tried Whole30, went off plan once, completely derailed me. I'd have a few days where I'd do good and then I'd go off plan. And so I began to do a lot of research on this. And of course, one thing that I found that people have in common is if you have been over restrictive with your dieting. I looked into intuitive eating. I'm listening to the book now. I'm gonna try to finish listening to it. It is like a 10 hour book and so far I'm kind of cringing quite a, quite a lot because I'm like, you underestimate my body's ability to intuitively eat like an entire pizza. But the concept with intuitive eating is that no food is off limits. You're not labeling anything good or bad. And in, in a way, I believe that that does give power to a food if you just completely avoid it altogether. When you finally do give yourself, give in to that, especially in a moment of weakness, it's like, you know, it's over with. But there's a lot about intuitive eating I'm not crazy about. So I, right now, this is gonna be my journey with healing my relationship with food. I am no longer going to be focusing on weight loss. Not that I don't wanna lose weight. If I'm being quite honest with you, I'm hoping to heal my relationship with food so that I can, in a healthy way, lose weight, even if it's a pound a week or two pounds a week. So it's maintainable. I'm tired of obsessing over food. I'm, I'm like when I wake up, when I go to sleep, overeating and then feeling terrible about myself and then sending myself into depression like I'm tired, tired of it. It is a bondage that I am not willing to be in anymore. So I'm stepping away from dieting and I'll link a few videos below that I've watched that I've gleaned a little bit of knowledge from maybe one or two but ultimately my goal is to just eat whole real food but I'm not gonna just say I'm not eating this anymore I'm not eating this anymore and as a matter of fact my goal is to at least once a week incorporate something that I used to would not allow myself to have and it may take a period of adjustment i'm not we're not calling this intuitive eating i'll give you an update later on that i don't i don't know once i finish the book i don't i don't know how i feel about that i see where a lot of people said that they do intuitive eating and that it worked really well for them i'll be honest with you and this is a lot of people's fear i'm afraid if i do intuitive eating and i just let go completely that i will blow up because that's just what i do i can't eat whatever i want and not gain a bunch of weight like obviously i'll be doing a what i eat in the day videos there won't be a certain diet. There will be what I decided to eat that day. Most of the time, more likely, they will be healthy recipes. Like today, I'm gonna to make a, uh, a crock pot Mediterranean chicken. It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited about it. But it's just, I'm not, I'm, I'm tired of over restricting. It's not done me any good. I've been at this, like this plateau for months now because I'll, I'll lose the weight. I'll get down to like 164 and then something happens i go off plan and not only do i go off plan i like go off the deep end just completely off the deep end <laughs> and then i and then i feel terrible about myself and then i just it just starts all over again so this is my journey with healing my relationship with food you're welcome to come on it with me i'm more than happy to have you i'm sorry i feel like this was completely all over the place I'm still hungover from this weekend. I got woke up at three o'clock Saturday morning and Monday morning. So I get home after after daylight. Then I try to sleep a little bit, but I don't want to sleep all day long. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this, y'all. So that's why I didn't make a video Monday, like I said in my shorts, so. But I hope y'all stick around. I know that a lot of y'all did not subscribe for this. To be fair, I did not make this channel. This channel is like five years old. I've just not invested a lot of time and energy into making good quality videos. And a lot of the videos I made, I put on private because they didn't necessarily relate to what I was doing now or here recently. But I don't want to be tied down. I don't I don't want to tie my channel down just to that. Now I'm rambling. Welcome back. I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. Be blessed. And let me know how you're doing in the comments. As always, y'all have a wonderful day. I will see y'all later. Bye.